So are you ready to level up your crypto game? Let's dive in and learn how to effortlessly add Blast Network to your MetaMask wallet. Let's go. So we're going to start here on your MetaMask wallet. If you go to the free dots at the top right hand corner, uh, go to settings. Now on the left hand side, you'll see networks. Click that. And then on the right hand side, you'll have the blue button. Add a network. Click there. And then we're going to add a network manually. So we click that. Um, I'm going to have this information that we're going to populate here in the description of the video. So just go to the description and you'll be able to, to copy and paste from there. So we're going to go in the first box here, network name would be Blast Mainnet. We're then going to click, uh, click, uh, click copy even the uh, URL. Um, we go here. Um, we're going to paste that in there. Then we need the ID, which is 8145. And we're going to paste that in there. And then um, the ticker symbol is ETH, right? So uh, we're going to populate that into the currency uh, symbol section. And then we're going to click Save. Then all you need to do is click Switch to Blast Mainnet then got, and then there you go, you've got Blast Network on your MetaMask. So it's as simple as that to add Blast Network to your MetaMask wallet. Now, there are um, links in the description of the video for all the different networks, so you can add each and every single one to your MetaMask wallet. Now, I do encourage everybody to just add all of the networks to your MetaMask wallet, so follow those guides, add all of them. The benefit to this is, you know, when you're looking to move an asset to your MetaMask wallet, you won't have to do these um, review guides again. You'll have all of the different networks set up on your MetaMask wallet, and you'll be able to move any asset on any chain that is compatible with MetaMask. So definitely worth doing those. Uh, but more importantly, the first thing you need to do right now is watch this video on how to secure your crypto when using MetaMask so you don't get scammed or hacked and lose all your crypto. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.